All right, what's going on, guys? It's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, I've been kind of busy, but I've been streaming at least, so I uploaded some stream highlights and stuff, but this is like the first time I've really sat down and actually made a full video. But this is definitely a crazy story right here, so let's just get right into it. An alleged stalker is accused of breaking into the New Hampshire home of his favorite OnlyFans model, camping out in her attic and recording her as she slept also real quick i don't know who the girl is i actually looked up multiple articles about this story and none of them say her name which i guess makes sense considering the case you know what i mean obviously she probably wants some privacy but we did get a picture of the guy involved and i can assure you he looks about pretty much what you would expect in this type of a situation. So let me introduce you to Mauricio Damian Guerrero. He is currently facing four counts of burglary and possibly some other charges as well. I would imagine there are definitely some other charges involved in this case based off the situation, but According to court documents released this week, the 20-year-old suspect drove nearly 400 miles from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania to the New Hampshire home of a woman he met through OnlyFans. Okay, 400 miles is crazy, man. That's like, I don't know, six hours of driving? I think that makes it way worse. You know, because it's not like it was just a spur of the moment type thing. He had plenty of time to think about what he was doing. And the whole drive over there, not once did he reconsider his decision like, hey, this is probably not a good idea. Nope, he could not wait to get up in that attic, man. He was taken into custody on February 9th as he tried to climb out of the victim's attic and onto her roof that night. The woman said she awoke to see Damian Guerrero standing in the doorway of her bedroom, according to the newly unsealed documents. That's actually pretty scary, right? Like, I'm a grown-ass man, but if I wake up in the middle of the night and there's a dude standing in my doorway, like, I'm gonna start freaking out. So, I can only imagine, as a woman, that's gotta be even more terrifying, right? Following his arrest, the suspected stalker confessed to stealing her key and then making a copy of it at Home Depot so he could easily enter her home. Investigators said that Damian Guerrero broke into the residence on several occasions and recorded the woman as she slept in the nude. Multiple videos of the victim were found on the man's phone, according to police. The victim also told investigators she discovered food, a cup of urine, and Damian Guerrero's headphones in the attic. Authorities also found a Tidal Bluetooth tracking device the suspect said he planned to place on her car. Yeah, this is crazy, man. This is like some real-life Joe Goldberg type shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. Joe is the GOAT, but only on TV, man. Like, this shit's not acceptable in real life, man. That's just a TV show. Like, that's actually crazy that a guy could be living in your attic and you don't even know it. I might have to go check my fucking attic because it's been a while since I've been up there. So I might have to go clear that out because this is actually a little bit concerning that apparently people can just be living up there. But anyways, last but not least, let's wrap this up. The woman said she initially met her alleged stalker in October and that he seemed nice at first, according to court documents. She gave him her address because he wanted to buy her a TV and fireplace. Listen, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, you know, I'm not trying to victim blame or anything like that, but like... Are you fucking stupid or something? Like, what are you thinking? You cannot be giving out your address to random people on the internet, let alone some freak off OnlyFans, and, and you just giving him your address. Like, are you insane? Like, the logic behind it doesn't even make any sense. He was gonna buy you something, so you, you gave him your address? Like, are you new to the internet? Like, that that's not how it works 
at all. You don't have to do that. That's just absolutely crazy to me. Like, I thought maybe, like, he investigated and tracked her down or something like some freak. But no, she just gave him the address and was surprised when he showed up. Come on, man. We, we gotta be smarter than that, man. Like, we really do. Like, that's crazy. But at the very least, like, nothing too bad ended up coming of the situation. You know, this definitely could have been a lot worse. So I think... In the future, let's all learn a lesson here and maybe try to be a little bit smarter about things and not give out our address to random people on the internet. Especially random dudes off OnlyFans. Like, that might actually be the worst place you could have given your address out to. Like, I'm actually mind blown that she did that. Like, that's so crazy to me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, check out my last video if you missed it. It was actually a uh, stream highlights video of this crazy game that we played. Like, I don't even know how. Like, you just you have to see the video. Like, I can't even really, like, do it justice with words. We didn't even get to finish the game because apparently it's a banned game now on Twitch. So, I can't even, like, continue playing it. So, like, that says enough right there. So, check out that video if you missed it. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day and peace out.